Devo bed on the Commodore 64 review, take one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hello. Today we're going to have a game of the Evil Dead on the Commodore 64. This was requested by John Gage on YouTube. Right, so um, there's supposed to be a bit at the beginning where it provides you with some of the backstory. Welcome to the tragic tale of the evil dead. I'm going to do this whole thing of William Shatner voice, aren't I? Let me start at the beginning. My name is Ashley, in case you haven't yet realised you you're looking at me from above yes no shit Sherlock I'm standing here in a shack which is buried deep in the heart of the Tennessee woodlands out front there's a porch with a rusty swing here in the main room i've lit a fire in the fireplace yes we've got eyes we can see that it's been years since anyone lived here so there's no furniture except a couple of old beds so why am i here well, it all started off as a simple vacation away from it all in the woodlands. I came here with my four buddies. Here they are. Cheryl, Linda, Scott and Shelley. What we did realise was that the shack is haunted by the spirit of the evil dead which will try to turn my friends on one by one into nasty green mutants. I'm pretty sure there were zombies in the evil dead. All hell bent on attacking me. I can defend myself by using weapons which appear and disappear at various places. Fuck's sake. In the house, each of them give me a different amount of energy. But beware, if I attack a mutant, it will come apart and each bit will try to get me. Only you can help me survive. Start by guiding me through with your joystick. Port 2. To close the windows which the evil spirit keeps flinging open. If it gets in, we must try to kill off the mutants it creates with the aid of the weapons. Press fire to pick up or attack. We will score points, but lose energy Will ev with every attack. If we manage to score enough points. The Ancient Book of the Evil Dead. I'm pretty sure the film was just called The Book of the Dead. Um, will 
appear on screen. Pick it up and throw it into the fire to destroy the curse. We hope. Before we start, let me just say thank you to a few people who have helped me make this game. Fuck off. Okay, so this was based on an absolutely classic film. Um, you know, I would definitely recommend The Evil Dead. Um, Evil Dead 2 is a little better. I prefer Evil Dead 2, but, you know, I still really enjoy the first Evil Dead film. Um, it actually is, was quite ballsy of them to make a game, you know, based on the Evil Dead. You know, considering this came out in 1984, and this came out, so it was right in the middle of the... What happened? I wasn't even anywhere near that. Um, this came out during the height of the Video Nasty scare, and the Evil Dead was regarded as, like, the forefather of as, like, the most infamous one. Even though, fucking hell, um, even though it only ever made it to the section 2 list, it was never actually prosecuted. So, essentially in this game, you play as Ash, the main character played by Bruce Campbell, and you essentially just run around basically destroying these, what well, are supposedly mutants, but if you've seen the Evil Dead, they're pretty much zombies, and you only get three lives, and... I wasn't even concentrating that much because I was talking too much. So this was developed by Palace Software, who I believe did games like Calder and stuff. And is this was this Palace Software related to Palace Video in any way? Uh, Palace Video was the company who actually put out the Evil Dead it was back in the eighties on video. Um, was were they related to Palace Video or was it just coincidence? So essentially just kind of walk around as Ash. And essentially you just tap the fire button to kill these zombies things. So Essentially, I believe what the point of the game is, you're supposed to get like 10,000 points or something, and then you can just, and then you can destroy the book of the dead. I think I've just killed one of my friends who, I don't know, can't tell which one's which because they all look the same. So controls are quite clunky because basically he's completely pick it up, you stupid bastard. There. That's a bit like a sword or something. He seems to drop it as well. Come on, I know Ash like isn't the brightest bulb in the box if you've seen the Evil Dead, but come on. Although he's more of the thick, although he became a bit more daft in the sequels. So fuck. Um there's always like the energy thing is like really inconsistent, you know, I can't tell like when when it's considered that you've run out of energy, it's just kind of the game decides. So <clears throat> kind of the energy thing is very much insignificant. And for some reason the game's not working. Type your name in. Okay, so. Oh, right, you're supposed to type your name in too. <laughs> so apparently I've done quite bad at the Evil Dead. So, so I assume kind of from just running around, kind of your energy depletes a bit like ET on the twenty six hundred.
And it's just like, I fucking killed them. How the hell did my energy go down? This game is pretty freaking clunky, if you ask me. Apparently it actually got pretty good reviews at the time, but it's just dead clunky, this. Warn you stupid bastard. No, no, look what you've done. Get lost. Get lost. Fuck lost. So, effectively, like, you're supposed to kill these fucking bell ends to get points, but you're also supposed to close the windows as well. And it seems that that explosion thing is frozen, so that's lovely. Why does it keep having to ask me to enter my name? I don't think I'll ever get this stupid book of the dead at this rate. How the hell did that kill me? It's just like the energy thing, just like it doesn't seem to matter, like how much energy you've got, you know. The game just decides, you know, when you're dead. And I've just killed one of my friends, so that's lovely. I'm just trying to think, remember, um, to try not to spoil the evil dead, I think. Everybody dies except Ash, I think. And it seems that... Okay, so it seems that the zombie things are like following me. And it seems that fart clouds turn you into a zombie. I know dear that. So I guess instead of tape recorder that turns into a zombie, it's this it's a fart cloud. Well that's different. It's, it's dead fucking clunky. This is not a good game. And I've just killed somebody. I think I might as well just kill off my friends and just... Okay, so don't touch the fart clowns. You can kill your friends, but don't touch the fart clowns. Yeah, I'm just going to kill my friends. <laughs> I'm such a sadist. This game is not very good at all.
it's just inc um, it's not the worst thing I've ever played and I've played far worse this is just unbelievably clunky and it doesn't do the film any justice at all because it's a great film The Evil Dead I've not seen the TV series and Ash vs Evil Dead I've seen the three Evil Dead films Oh, for fuck's sake. Ash, you stupid twat. Why didn't you move? But when that thing's farting behind you, you move. You don't stand there. You move. You stupid bastard. You stupid... Oh. So it doesn't, it doesn't seem to matter if I have a weapon or not, because I can just hit the fire button and kill these bastards. Evidently not. Starting to get a bit tedious now. I mean, I know the film was based basically around the, you know, the cabin, but, but to be honest, the film was never this tedious. Come on, walk, walk, you stupid bastard! Silly bastard! That actually is a miracle that Ash survived at all and was able to make and was able to appear in the sequels. Because then you were just how incompetent he is. I doubt I'll ever get the Book of the Dead or was it? I don't know if it was referred to as the Necronomicon in the film. I just call it the Book of the Dead. What the hell happened there? Right, that's it, I've had enough. So, that was The Evil Dead on the Commodore 64. So that's it for the moment. So long for now.